Today I gonna demonstrate Loti Files animations. Loti File is a platform for different animations for interactive design. You can check it out that on their official website. There are lots of different animations which you can embed on your website using the plus add-ons. Now let's take a look at different options. Here you can see the animation embedded which is on auto loop. You can see on scroll parallax animation that means as you scroll the animation will go ahead or the back. After that there is option for animation on individual hover. That means as you hover on that the animation will run. You can see the options. You also can set up a link on them. Then there is animation which will run on click. That means once you click on that it will run the animation. Also you will have option for a custom delay time. That means after 10 seconds once the animation will finish the link will open. So let's check it out. Once you click on that the animation will start running and after certain seconds it will go to that URL. Check it out like this. So let's get back to the page. So these are the animation are based on the click. Then here is the animation based on viewport animation. That means animation will start only when you will reach to that section. Then you have options for mouse in and out animation. That means the animation will start running once you go inside that section. When you go outside it will be normal. You can see the example. Keep your eye on the mouse cursor and you will see the effect. When you go back, it will be normal. And when you go in, it will be animated. After that, you have a fixed on scroll Lottie file animation. For that, we have made a separate video. But here you can see the example demo of it. You can see on the left hand side there is a normal content on, on the right hand side there is an animation from Loti files and as you scroll it down the animation will keep on running. We have made a separate video for this you can check it out on our YouTube channel. So let's get back to the options and how you can set up those animations. So let's find out Loti file animation you just need to drag and drop now here you have option to insert animation using code or the URL if you have any URL for that then you can put that JSON URL over here if not you can just use the code method in a code method let's go to the Loti files from there you need to find out what animation for example let's go with this animation you just need to press on that and you can download the JSON file from here once you download that JSON file you need to open that and copy its code now let's go to the JSON code section where you need to paste that code here you go by default in a backend it will not load just to improve the performance or in the backend but if you want to turn it on you can just press this button to turn on Loti file animation in the backend
after you select that option here you go you will see the loti file animation over here then you have options in a main setting where there are multiple options like autoplay that means it will keep on playing by its own then you can select on hover that means once you select this option the animation will only available on hover you also can disable loop animation that means it will not go on on loop so let's keep on hover and once you hover on that the animation will run and it will run only once after your hover if you turn on loop animation then it will keep on running on hover it will not stop after one cycle right then you have option for a custom animation start time let's keep that off you have option for a custom animation start time that means you can adjust the start time and the end time you can find start and end time from here like if you want to start the animation from this stage then you can put the value of 41 and if you want to end that at this stage then you can put a value of 175 at the end time once you adjust these both the values it will start at 41 and end at 175 you can see that over here right here it is on hover it will start at 41 and end at 175 so these are the option for the start and end animation then you have option for a url where you can add the url of any for example this is the link which you can put over here and once you click on that it will open the url after that In the URL you also have option for a click delay that means once you click on that it will start animation and after few seconds as per the value it will redirect and it will accept the URL value that means if you select a 1000 that means 10 seconds once you click on that after 10 seconds it will redirect to this URL then you have option for animation heading and description but first of all let's check out other options over here there is on hover there is option for on click then there is option for a column hover that means when you hover on the column the animation will start let's add one column over here this animation is not working right now but as we will hover on that animation just a moment
<coughs> now if you want to set up that on a column here let's add one column and now let's check it out when you hold on this column the animation will start working rest of the time it will not work so let's find out let's turn off loop animation now if you hover on if you hover over here this column it will not work but as soon as you will hover on this it will start working so this is the column hover section after that there is an option for a section hover that means if you enter on that section it will start animating right now i am outside of that section here you can see but even i will roam around but it will not work once you enter into that section it will start animating in whatever column you are but as you enter into the section it will start working after that you have option for a mouse in and out effect that means once you enter in that section the effect will start and once you go back it will rotate back for example i am coming and it's going out so you can set up animation like this after that there is an option for a scroll parallax that means you can scroll you can set up a scroll pair scroll animation based on your mouse wheel let's check it out the custom height option that means you can set up a custom height if you want that animation to run for 500 pixels then you can set up the value over here you can set up a 1000 then here is the offset value that means you can start the animation before you reach to this section or after you reach to this section you can see the option around you over here so let's put the offset value in a positive so it can be start before we reach to section you can see it's not visible over here but once the section and the offset value of 300 pixel will be available here and the animation will start and it will run until 1000 pixels so you can set up it like this but if you want this fixed and want animation for your full page you need to select a document height we have made a separate video for this functionality you can check it out in our channel and you can find out that animation from this url now let's check out the viewport page this is the normal option and the animation will work as you enter into the viewport animation so these are the options in a main settings now let's keep on hover and let's turn on animation heading and the description both these options are available just to set up a heading and the description of loti file you are setting up you can see the heading and the description then you have option for animation render where you can select svg canvas or the html we recommend to go with the svg then you have option for the layout where you can select the alignment of it and you have option for the maximum width that means you can adjust its width as per your needs which is a responsive option so you can change that in a different devices you also have option for a minimum height you can adjust the minimum height as per your requirements After that in a style tab you will have options for a heading and the description, alignments, their margins, padding and the typography. You also have a heading color 
you can change it over here you also can change the whole color you also have options for the alignment of description the margin padding the typography options you also can set up the colors for normal and for the whole condition then there is a option for the content background that means you can put that in a content you can set up a background color you also can set up a hover background color you can see the effect over here you also have option for the border and box shadow after that you have option for the on scroll view animation we have made separate video for this so you can check it out on our channel so these are the options are available in a lottie file animation in the plus add-ons thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites see you in the next video